Hey kids, welcome back to our series called Game Plan. Today, we're learning all about how God's plan is the best plan, and we need to trust in Him. Have you ever had somebody tell you something that was a little hard to believe? But then they told you two more words that made you feel more comfortable. The words were, trust me. Now, those words only have meaning if that person that says them is someone you can trust. Trust is something that is built over time, when somebody proves themselves over and over and over again to be trustworthy. Now, God can always be trusted. And so we need to learn to trust him. In fact, that's what we're gonna be learning about. And Todd is also gonna learn that in this video right now. Man, I've been learning a lot of great stuff from you, Tony. I'm really glad you decided to be my personal trainer. I know that I'm gonna make the varsity basketball team in no time. Forget about it, I'm happy to help you, shortstop. It's like the time I was playing with NBA legend, Barry Lurd. Barry Lurd? Don't you mean Larry Bird from the Boston Celtics? No, Barry Lurd. What a legend that guy was. He was a trainer for the Vancouver Grizzlies. He could fold a fitted sheet Four different ways in under 30 seconds. Okay. Now where was I? Oh yeah, now it's time to rock today's training, okay? Now I will admit, today's exercise requires a little bit of trust on your part. Oh yeah, well please tell me I'm not gonna be blindfolded. No, not at all. What is that for? Are you gonna put it over my mouth so I can't complain? Nope. Like that, perfect. What is all this about? I can't move my arms. Yep, today we're gonna work on your passing game. Ow, wait, what? how am I supposed to work on passing if I can't catch the ball? Well, it sounds like you need a better game plan, doesn't it? Huh? <sighs> you don't trust me, huh? Okay, guess we gotta try something else. Ow. Okay, try this. A cheese puff? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, you need to practice your dribbling, right? How am I supposed to dribble with a cheese puff? Huh? It doesn't even bounce. Wow, still don't trust me? What is there to trust? You're tying my hands to my side and throwing a ball at my chest, and then you're expecting me to bounce a cheese ball on the ground? None of that makes sense. Not to you. Not to anybody. Well, there's a pretty important scripture that the kids are gonna learn in their lesson today that could do you a lot of good in your current situation. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's about not leaning on your own understanding, but trusting that God knows best. It's about not trusting in your game plan, but trusting in God's. Oh, so kind of like how I'm not trusting in your game plan right now. Exactly. Sometimes God asks us to do something that doesn't even make sense to our own understanding, but if we trust God and obey, he will show us the right path to take. Gotcha. I guess I need to pay attention to that lesson, huh? <laughs> Would be a good idea. Now, where were we? Cheese ball. Oh, uh, yeah, you see, the reason why I picked... Trust is something that's a little hard to achieve. And sometimes, even though somebody is trustworthy, we tend to not trust them. But we know that we can always trust God, even if it's something that we don't really want to trust Him for. We know that He will always lead us in the right path and has the best plan for us. In fact, that's exactly what we're going to be learning about in our lesson today. But right now, let's check out this video with Callie from the Valley. You know I gotta tell you what you gotta know, tell you what you gotta know. Hey kids, it's me, Callie from the Valley, and I'm like here to tell you like what you gotta know. Today, we're like talking about trusting God no matter what, right? So every time today somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart. It's like 
tough out there, Christians don't always know what to do, you know? It's like, what do I do? What's the plan for my life? Like, who even am I? Like, what if God's plans, like, don't even make sense, you know? Yeah. Even when we're thinking like that, we have to, like, trust God. He knows what He's doing, like, okay? So, every time today somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart. And that is what you gotta know. I'm Callie from the Valley saying TTYL. All right, boys and girls, it's time for praise and worship. I hope that you're excited and that you're ready and you're jumped up on your feet to praise the Lord because he is so worthy of it. Lately I've been real, watching the nightly news, constant to find the rhythm, just wanna sing the blues. Feels like a song that never stops. Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire, fire back in my bones Before my heart, heart turns into stone So won't somebody please pop some megaphone I'll shout it on the count of three One, two, three Oh, you are pretty now I'm singing to the sky Give me strength to read my voice and testify Oh, you are Kids, what time is it?
Like, what you gotta know? All right, buddy. I have the perfect plan right here. You do? Well, let's take a look. This is a foolproof plan for your life, buddy. You can definitely trust this will be the ultimate game plan for success. What um, do you think? Well, Megan, I gotta say, I can't really understand it. It just looks like X's and O's and arrows. No problem, buddy. So, you see the plan? You gotta memorize? It's self destructs in four hours, so you better memorize it fast. Self destructs? No, not really. Just kidding. I just always wanted to say something cool like that. Well, you know, it kind of looks like a football plan. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. You are sharp today, buddy. It is a football play made up by yours truly. It will help you get healthy, smarter, and win the football game every time. I don't know Trust if you this can plan. promise all of that, Megan, but I mean, the only one we can really trust for a game plan is God. Steph Curry. He is so wise. No, I, I didn't say I didn't say that. I didn't say his name. He is an amazing athlete, but just like us, he's man. The only one that we can really completely <gasps> trust. Is he your is, grandpa? No, again, he's a really awesome man. But the answer is God. He is no. the only one that we can completely trust with all of our heart. And when we trust him, he will show us his game plan. Oh, well, that was my next guess. I'd just like to say, best answer for last. How does that usually work out for you? Actually, no, it never works. Why does everyone want the correct answer first? <sighs> Megan, are you okay? Yeah, I was just stretching because I just did a bunch of climbing yesterday at the grocery store, so I'm still a little bit sore. Climbing at the grocery store? What? Oh, yes. They keep all the best and freshest stuff up high and in the back of the shelves. And it seems like I'm the only one who knows that. <laughs> yeah, well, you might not want to climb any more grocery shelves. Oh, yes. That's kind of interesting, though. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes, buddy. But there's a game plan you can trust to get the best groceries. Really? Climb up and to the back. You are welcome. Ah, gotta run. What? Bye. I wouldn't follow that plant. Megan, don't climb any more grocery shelves. Oh my Atlanta. Like, what you gotta know? All right, boys and girls, it's time for today's Bible lesson. And today, the Bible lesson we will be going over is in the book of Matthew. Well, Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. And our Bible lesson is going to be found in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. So at this point, Jesus had just finished teaching a large group of people, and he had gone alone so that way he could pray. 
So he sent his disciples out in a boat to cross the sea. And all of a sudden, while they were out there in the middle of the sea in their boat, a huge storm came along. Now the disciples, they started freaking out. I mean, as you can imagine, if you were in a boat and a storm came along, I'm sure you'd be a little nervous too. And they all, the disciples, they were very scared. Now first, there was a big storm. And now, guess what? They saw a figure of a person coming towards them. They thought they were all gonna die because of the storm. And guess what? The disciples thought that the person was a ghost. Now, it definitely wasn't a ghost because ghosts, they aren't real. But do you know who it was? That's right, it was Jesus. He was walking on the water and coming to be with them in the storm. Now suddenly, Peter realized who it was and he said, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. So Peter did something that most of us would think is crazy. That's right, he stepped out of the boat onto the water and walked on the water in the middle of the storm towards Jesus. Can you imagine walking on water in the middle of a storm? I mean, that had to be an incredible experience. Peter, he kept walking on the water toward Jesus, focusing on the Lord who was just a few feet away. Now, then suddenly Peter did something that kind of messed things up. He took his eyes off of Jesus and instead of focusing on Jesus, he began to look at the waves and the wind and the rain and all of the storm. And he began to be afraid. Now when Peter had taken his eyes off of Jesus and put them on the storm, he began to sink. See, Peter thought he was going to drown. So he called out to Jesus and he said, Lord, save me. So Jesus, he reached out, grabbed Peter's hand and pulled him out of the water, setting him in the boat. Peter, he was safe now. But Jesus looked at him and he said, why do you have such little faith? Why did you doubt? Peter, he felt ashamed because he had stopped focusing on Jesus and having faith in him. And instead, he focused on the storm that was around him. Now today, we're going to learn about this in our lesson in that in order to succeed in God's game plan, we must trust in him. And we must focus on him and not lean on our own understanding. It's very, it's very necessary that we keep our eyes on Jesus in the middle of the chaos and everything that's going on around us, we need to focus on Jesus. So pay close, close attention because this could be a lesson that changes your life forever. <laughs>
which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. That's it! Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's make sure that we don't forget it. So everyone stand up and say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Great job, everyone. You can all have a seat. Now, would you like to see today's painting? I know you would. See, this one is a portrait of my grandmother. Ta-da! Isn't she so beautiful? She's eating her favorite food, mac and cheese. And she just got her hair did. It looks so fabulous. Work it, Gram Gram. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for your help today. I'll see you later, boys and girls. Bye-bye. guys it's time for worship i challenge you during these next few minutes don't just listen to this song but make this a time of worship to the lord No shadow, we don't want to 
There are four words that are on every single piece of money in the United States. Boys and girls, do you know what those words are? I bet some of you do. Those four words are in God we trust. That's right. These words are not only important for our nation, but they are also very important for each and every person who is a follower of Jesus. See, our power verse today says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. That's in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. There are several lessons that I want us to learn today from that verse. And the first one is, I can always trust God. See, boys and girls, God created each and every one of you with a great purpose in mind. He knew exactly what you were going to be like. He knew exactly what your life was going to look like. He knows exactly what you're going to be when you grow up. He knows who you're going to marry, what kind of children or how many children you're going to have. He knows every detail about your life and he knew all of it before you were even born. That's right. I said before. He loves you and he has a perfect plan for your life so you can trust him. Yes, you can trust him to take care of you and to lead you throughout life. So if we know that we can trust God, let's talk about that word for just a minute. What does it mean to trust God? Well, I have some special helpers today that are coming to show us what the word trust means. Come on in, guys. Hi, Miss Tracy. Hey, Danny and Austin. I brought Austin with me. I'm so glad that y'all could come. I heard that you guys were going to help me tell the boys and girls what trust is about. That's right. Well, I am in the middle of telling the boys and girls. See, they're right there. Hey. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> that trust is a very important thing. Yes, it is, Miss Tracy. Trust is very important, boys and girls. Trust is very important. It is. It actually requires that a person to believe that the other person wants to and is able to do the right thing. Right. Okay. Right. So right. That's right. trust. Yes. Yeah. Right. For instance, Austin, yeah. if you trust Danny here, do you trust Danny? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you trust Danny, then Austin, you'll have no problem climbing up on this chair for me. Oh, he's doing great already. No problem. And you're gonna turn um, your back to Danny and you're gonna do a trust fall. What? A That's trust right. fall. You don't know what a trust fall is? I know what a trust fall is. Well, then what's wrong? So, <laughs> if Austin trusts Danny, then he believes that she wants to and is able to do the right thing, which in this case would be to catch him, Danny. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm not going to let him drop. You sure you got this? I'm sure. I'm okay, okay. To you. So, she Austin has to trust that Danny wants to. You mm -hmm. want to, right? Oh, yes. And you're able. Oh. Are working out? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so Austin has to trust that Danny wants to <laughs> and is able to catch him. Yes, okay? I'm able. Because if he doesn't trust, then there's no way he would fall backwards, right? Right. Right, right. So, Austin, do you trust my friend Danny here? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. I think Danny can yeah. do it. Yes. Yeah, I think Danny can. I've done do so it. many trust falls. You have no idea. In my family, really? we do a lot of crazy things that are more dangerous than trust falls. I think she's right about that one. Yeah, I kind of have to believe her on that. Yeah. So, Austin's gonna demonstrate trust for us. Austin, you can go ahead and turn around and face Danny here. All right, boys and girls, you ready? Let's count them down. Three, two, one. Oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> no, no, no. That no. wasn't so bad. <laughs> boys and uh, girls. Whoa. Would you give them a hand? Thank you guys for coming. You did so good, Austin. Yes, you thank you guys. Too. All right. Thanks. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye. Let me try to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Boys and girls, you now understand exactly what I mean by trust, right? You have to know that the other person wants to and is able to do the right thing, like Danny did. She caught him. That wasn't hard. I knew she could do it. Well, we can certainly trust God because we know that he wants to and we know that he is able to take care of us. He's able to lead us. He's able to direct us, right? Right. I think we all can agree on that. 
but sadly, most of the times we don't really trust God the way that the verse teaches us to. You see, I can't just halfway trust God. I must trust him with all my heart. Say that. I must trust him with all my heart. Now, before I teach this next part of the lesson, I actually am going to have Danny come back, okay? Because I want to bless her for helping me teach today. And I brought something extra special to bless her with. So, you ready? Here goes. Hey, Danny! Danny! Miss Trisley? Could you come back and help me here for a second? Yes, ma'am. So, how are you trying to like Danny? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so glad. You know, you really helped me today teach the boys and girls about trust. Mm -hmm. And it's so important. It's very and, important. Yes. And so, I really want to bless you. Well. Yes. I want to bless you for you helping bless me. me. Yes, you. And I was thinking, what better way to celebrate something awesome like Danny here than some cookies. Miss Tracy, yes. I love me some cookies. I figured you did. And don't tell Alexis because I know she likes cookies a lot. But well, I'm going to give you all of my cookies. All you of my cookies. Give me all of them? All of them. All yes. of them. You blessed me today. Hold out your hands, Danny. I am a giver, Danny. Oh, and one. I appreciate all that you did to help me today. Two. And so I have this bag of cookies here. Three. Yes. Is that gum good? Yes, ma'am. It's kind of loud. But anyway, I will give you all my cookies. Four. Yep. There's more. Five. Mm, those kind of smell good, boys and girls. Mmm. Mm. And no, I'm going to give them all. I'm giving them all. Six. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Seven. Oh, and there's one more. Eight. You know what, Danny? I'll even give you the crumbs. Oh, oh, that's kind of making me mad. How about that, Danny? I got I eight you plus all, crumbs. All my cookies, Danny. Thank you, Miss Tracy. Bless me, and I want to bless you. Mm, that smells so good. I don't have to go and spend my gum out just trying to eat them. That's a good idea. You go ahead and do that. Okay? All right, Miss Tracy. All right. Well, you enjoy your cookies. Thanks again, Danny. <laughs> Thank you so you much, Miss Tracy. <laughs> all right. Bye. Well, Bye, Danny. I wanted to give Danny all my cookies. I really. To be honest, would have liked to keep some for myself because they smelled so good. That's what I really wanted to do. But instead, I wanted to give them all the way to her. I wanted to bless her. And our power verse says that we are to trust God with all of our heart. Just like I gave her all of the cookies. All of the cookies. Wait a minute. Oh, I just remember. I have another bag. Hang on just a second. Oh my God, I actually have a whole nother bag of cookies. I mean, I gave Danny all those and that was great, but I actually have a whole nother bag right here. And, oh, they smell so good. Okay, so anyway, I was saying that our power verse is to trust God with all of our heart, right? So that means that we're supposed to trust him all the time, in all situations, in all areas of our lives. Miss Tracy. You have some cookies. I, 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 I have some cookies. I gave you some cookies too, Danny. How are those cookies? They were really good. They were like, good? I already ate them all. Oh, you ate those fries, Danny. Eight cookies and some grubs. Well, but I, mean, I, I got a question. You, what you, back? you told me multiple times that what? you was going to give me all of your cookies. But, but right now, you have another bag of cookies, and it's not empty. Miss Tracy, I forgot I had another bag. I had a whole other bag of cookies. You did. I did. And so I was going to just have some because they smell so good. They do smell really good. I mean, I ate some and they was like really good. Yeah. And so is it okay if I have some? Mm. You're going to let me have some. You can have some cookies. That's so sweet of you. But you know what? You're right. I told you, I told you boys and girls, that I was gonna give you all the cookies I had, huh? All the cookies. But really, if I'm being honest, I kept back the ones that I wanted. And that was wrong with me, Danny. I'm sorry. It's okay, Miss Tracy. Danny, you can have all of my cookies. Thank you so all much. Of them. You might wanna save them though. You might end up with a bellyache. Don't eat them all at one time. That's no problem, Miss Tracy. I mean, if there was like the other one, 
Eight in this one, they're kind of small, and I mean, That's I've eaten lot. three dozen at one time before, and I didn't get no belly ache. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't recommend it, boys and girls, but thank you, Dan. Thank, thank you, you Miss Tracy. You know, boys and girls, I wanted to tell you that oftentimes we do the same thing with God. We say we're going to give him all, but what we really mean is kind of like I did with Danny and the cookies. We really mean, God, I'm going to give you most. I'm going to give you most. We say, oh God, I trust you, but then we hold back areas of our lives that we want to keep control of. Just like you just saw me hold back some of my cookies. Yeah, I really just did it to teach you a, a lesson and Danny too. But sometimes we say we trust God with everything, but we don't. We hold back part of our lives. The part that we say, no God, I don't know about that. I want control of that part. Maybe like your friends. God might be prodding you and saying, those aren't good friends for you, but you're like, oh God, I want to be in control of this part of my life. Or maybe for you, it's the music you listen to. Maybe your parents have told you that's not good music, or you just know when you hear it, but you're like, I want to be in control of this part of my life. Maybe it's what you watch on TV or look at on the internet or on your phone. I don't know what the area is for you, but I do know that we are all guilty at some point of holding back an area of our life. Sometimes it's even just as something as simple as time. We don't give our time to God the way that we should. And so we're saying, I trust you, God, but I'm going to keep this part of my life for me. Remember our verse today said, I will trust you with all my heart and I will seek his will in all that I do. You know what that means? It means I can't hold anything back. If we're gonna trust God with all of our hearts and we'll seek his will in all that we do, then what is the uh, power verse promise? What does God promise to do? The power verse, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and what? He will show you which path to take. See, if I seek his will, he will show me his game plan. So what does it mean for God to lead us on the right path? It looks something like this, okay? I want you to imagine for me for just a minute. Here's a dot. And this dot is when you were born. Over here is another dot, kind of like a timeline, right? And this dot is when you're gonna die, okay? If we trust God with all of our heart and we seek his will, then he will lead us straight from this dot all the way down to this dot. That's his perfect plan for your life. However, without God, it would look more like this. Here's where you're born. Here's where you die. Does that look fun to you? Okay, come on now. I'm not talking about a roller coaster. I'm talking about real life. That is crazy and that's not what I want. I want God's perfect plan for my life. And I know that that's what you must want to because God has an amazing plan for you. That's why you must trust him with all your heart and not depend on your own understanding. Seek him in all you do and he will show you which path to take. Boys and girls, today I wanna to pray for you. I believe that some of you have been holding back certain areas of your life that you have just not given control over to God yet. Maybe you've given him control once and then you took it back or maybe you've just really been holding on to this area. Again, it could be your friends, it could be your time, it could be the things that you're spending your time reading or looking at. It could be even your plans for your life. Like maybe you have great plans to be something great even though you know God has told you to do something else. Whatever it is, I pray that while we are praying today, you make a decision to let go of what you want, to let go of those areas of your life that you've been holding back and you say, God, I'm going to seek you, and I'm going to trust you, and I'm going to choose your perfect plan for my life. If that's you today while I'm praying, would you agree with me in prayer? Or would you just tell God that I'm not going to hold back anymore? Let's pray. God, I thank you for your word that is a light unto our path. We don't have to go on that crazy path that I showed earlier because you have a perfect plan for us from the beginning and to the end. And if we trust you and we seek you, you will direct us. Your word promises it. And Lord, I know that your promises are yes and amen. That means you do exactly what you say you're going to do. So today, I just come to you with the boys and girls that might be watching, mom and dad that might be watching, 
those that might be holding back an area of their life that they have not given you control of. Today, as they confess those things before you, Father, I ask that you would forgive, first of all, for holding back areas of our life. And instead, you would help us to let go of those things, to lay them down before your feet, and to trust you with all of our heart. Today, God, we give you all of ourselves. We don't want to hold anything back. Today, we choose to trust you with all that we have and to seek you with all that we have. We will hold nothing back. God, we are yours, and we want your perfect plan for our life. I thank you, Lord, yes, that you have a perfect plan. And today I say, let it be done in Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, if you let go of that area of your life today, I'm telling you, it's one of the best things you'll ever do because it does not pay to serve God and hold something back. That's not what he wants you to do. He wants you to let go and he wants you to trust him in all things. So I'm so proud of you if you prayed that prayer today. And I love you guys. Hey kids, Cookie Monster again. Going to try to do rewind. Just kidding, it's Austin again. So, I'm here to call the questions out and rewind. Number one, what you got to know today. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. I can trust God or I will never trust. The answer is, I will trust in the Lord with all of my heart. Number two, what was the name of the disciple who walked on the water? Evan, Andy, or Peter? The answer is Peter. Number three, what did the disciples think Jesus was in our Bible story. A mouse, a ghost, or he was invisible? It would have been kind of cool if he was invisible, but the answer is the disciples thought he was a ghost. What happened when Peter took his eyes off of Jesus? He sank, he started flying, or he turned into a dragon? It too would be cool if he turned into a dragon, but the answer is he sank. Did Jesus save Peter from drowning? If it's yes, jump up to your feet. If it's no, just stay seated. The answer is yes, I hope you jumped up to your feet. Jesus did save Peter from drowning. Number six. What are the four words on every piece of United States money? Let God bless America. All money is awesome or in God we trust? The answer is in God we trust. Number seven, according to our lesson today, I can always blank blank, trust God, come home, or eat Snickers. I know a lot of people like Snickers, but the answer is I can always trust God. Number eight, according to our lesson today, I must trust him with blank of my heart. Some of my heart, all of my heart, or none of my heart. I hope you said all of my heart, because that's the truth. Number nine, according to our lesson today, if I seek his blank, he will show me his game plan. If I seek his face, if I seek his will, or if I seek his name. The answer is, if. I seek his wheel, he will show me his game plan. And finally, number 10. Where was our power verse found? 2 Chronicles 6.15, Hebrews 5.2, or Proverbs 3, 5, and 6? The answer is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And that's all for Rewind. We're all out of time for today, boys and girls. I hope to see you this Wednesday night at church. That's right, you heard it here. This Wednesday night, we will be having all of our kids' classes. They will all be open. We have nursery, preschool, elementary, tween, and youth. And I want to see you there. I hope to see you Wednesday. Have a great week. I love you. Bye.